Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Let's Talk with the Saw right here on Superlative Radio. We are coming to the end of our second season, and we are also coming to the end of the third season of Star Trek Discovery, yeah. which we are going to discuss more today. There's one more episode left and one more episode of our second season left, which will be next week. Yep. Uh, also going to talk today, um, in addition to talking about Star Trek, um, I know you haven't, you wouldn't have watched this because you didn't watch the last one, but I'm going to talk about uh, Transformers Earthrise, the second part of the Transformers series that was released on Netflix on the 30th of December. So oh, okay. I'm going to talk about that too, but I'll do that after we talk about Discovery. I heard that they're going to have a new Transformer. <clears throat> uh, it's going to be called uh, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, yeah, 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 yeah. He's 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 leader of the Amazonians. That's right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I heard. I thought you'd know about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's what we're going to talk about. Um, now, when season uh, three of our of our Let's Talk show starts, it will start with us talking about the first episode of One Division, mm-hmm. which airs roughly about a week from now. So. Um, and we're going to have slightly different format for how we're going to do things. It'll be really cool, so check it out. We're going to kind of get back to that uh, – we're going to kind of get back to that thing that we were doing at the beginning of the second season where we were showing clips and stuff. Yeah. So we're going to get back to doing that because I think it really kind of shows to what we were talking about. So that said, let's start with Discovery, and it was episode 12. And what did you think about it? I liked it a lot, actually. Um, I'm really just pumped for the whole thing. Um, just, I'm just anxious continually for, uh, the whole thing to continue. Uh, I just want to see where they're going to take it. I want to see how it's going to work. Um, you know, I'm just enjoying it thoroughly. That's all there is to it. Um, she's playing the character well, and you know, this whole, who, um, the green bitch there. Oh, okay. You're talking about Osiris. Yeah. And I just couldn't remember the name offhand. But, um, you know, the whole process of trying to, you know, come to a compromise and doing, you know, and I mean, and I'm watching it and I'm going. There's got to be another that's motive right, there. That's right. There's there's more to, like, you're, you're. I think she's figured out how to beat a lie detector, basically, is what I think it is. Because, you, like, like they had that, hol- he had that hologram that's there, right there that, to that, do, that, that, but I honestly think she's found a way to beat it. Like to beat a lie detector yeah, of that yeah, kind. Yeah, would have to. Because I don't believe what's what's. Oh no! What it, she this, says at all. Because I that's don't. not. And you can tell she doesn't is. either. No, because that's not what she is. That's yeah. you know. Y- y- so I, I'm watching it and I'm going, "Don't fall for it." But you know, this makes for you know. Yeah, and he didn't. No, he well, he made it that he, you know this is this and this is this, and of course yeah. they left without her getting what she wanted. So yeah, yeah. it was good that way, but. Uh, you know, it's nice to see also that they're, you know, the crew is being held and they're, they're fighting back and they're doing what they're doing. Yeah. <clears throat> trying to get it together and trying to get, you know, control the ship again and whatever. But, uh, yeah. Uh, but yet, you know, they also have to figure out a way to get back to get the others. Like, I mean, you know, and, and Stamets was just completely. I you know, know, eh? You know, yeah. Over you and whatever. And I mean, I understand it, but, you know, you got to get back there and get these guys fixed up so you know i don't know how they're gonna handle that one but we'll have to see i don't know yeah it'll be interesting i think the uh last episode which which uh because of the way we're filming this week this is this is a few days late obviously yeah uh it airs tonight the finale so um i think it'll be interesting to see how they do it if there's going to be i what i think is going to happen is there's going to be some kind of a major blowout battle between the federation and the emerald chain or something. There's going to be something. Well, it's going to end I, I don't a cliffhanger. Know how, there's no doubt. I don't know how they're going to rescue Hugh and Saru. I have no idea how they're yeah. going to do that. Um, and the, the girl there, what, what the hell's her name? Because she ended up going. The uh, the one with all the... The trill? The trill. Yeah, she went. Yeah. Yeah, so she's there know. too. <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see... Um, you know the big the big talk all week online was about uh, how the admiral revealed that uh, you know all the replicated food was made from shit. shit. Yeah, that was and funny. I'm like, and I'm like, <clears throat> that, that's not a secret. That's been that's been knowledge since the next generation era. Yeah, like that's that's not anything new. Like they explained all of that like without know, saying shit. Without but, saying shit, they yeah. explained it was just reused. It was <clears throat> reused refuge molecules yeah, right. and yeah, whatever. That's and, right. Yeah. And stuff like, but 
this time they just called it shit. Yeah, so, he's know, just because like, now he can say it yeah. on TV without any, you know. Well, he can say it because it's it's streaming technically. Okay. Because like, you got to remember, the only place where it's airing on TV, like like a TV channel, is Canada. Everywhere else, it's either on Netflix or on CBS All Access. So it's oh, not airing. Okay. So, so that's it's not why. technically. And in Canada, we have much looser rules oh, when big, it comes to time. being able to swear on TV, right? Yeah. Um, we've always had that on our on our cable channels. Well, not loose enough, especially with YouTube, but I'm not going to get into that. No, well, that's different. YouTube, YouTube's not. Considering not it's talking, streaming, I'm, you'd think that, but, you know. I'm not talking about YouTube. I'm talking about yeah, I'm just, Canadian TV, I'm, though. But, like, uh, but that's why. That's God, why they go God say, I, God it's forbid, same, I, you know, I say. It's a, it's the same thing with Picard, you know, like when they, when they, you know, when they, you, they said the F word and stuff, it's, it's, it's all because it's streaming, right? So yeah. they can get away with stuff on streaming that you can't get away with on TV. And in Canada, we're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, we don't care. I mean, you know, this is the country where we were showing naked boobies since the, you know, at least the seventies and eighties on TV. Oh yeah. Like <laughs> nobody gave a crap. And, and Quebec was worse for it. Yeah, I know. So, you know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I remember as a kid, everybody always wanted to look at the French channel because it was all blurry and remember trying to watch between the scribbles and everybody was like, was oh, I think I saw a boob. Yeah, what was it? <laughs> Blue Nuit, I think they called it. Yeah. Friday nights or something. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Blue, Blue, Blue Nuit. Nuit. Yeah. 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 Blue Nuit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Emmanuel. Yeah. Oh God, Emmanuel! Yeah. yeah, they had a whole series. Oh of that. yeah, they did. Red Shoe Diaries. Red Shoe Diaries. Oh, I never saw that. You know, you know who was in that was uh, what's his face, David Duchovny. Really? Yes, oh, okay. he was. He was. He would. He would. He was at the start and the end of each one, reading through the Red Shoe Diaries. He was like, like, like the tonight narrator? on Masterpiece Theater. He was like that guy, oh, right? Okay. He would read blah blah blah, and then the it would, and then it would go to the, the the thing where you'd see the guy and the girl doing the whatever, and, and then it would come back to him at the very end, and he that was oh yeah, Red Shoe Diaries. No, no, I never you saw didn't it. know that? No, no, I didn't see it. I've never yeah. seen it. Anyway, that's completely off topic because now we're on to porn. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's, it's soft core. Soft core, whatever. Yeah. Back in the day, that was called porn. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's, you know the weirdest. Mumbo number five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, so it was just beating off material for teenagers, is what it turned out. At the out time, to be. it so, yeah, yeah, it yeah, was. You know. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Anyway, um, so, but yeah, like, so we have much looser rules when it comes to what can be said on TV. That's why when we watch Star Trek on, you know, CTV Sci Fi, here's we, to Canada, baby. We can we can hear them saying shit and damn and hell and f this and f that and all that crap. Like you can, because it's not a big deal. Um. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I, I'm with you. I, I definitely was, I think we're going to see, um, I think we're going to see some sort of a big battle of some kind or something. Um, Gotta be going to come to blows. I don't know what she thinks her command ship is going to do outside of the, the force field for Starfleet. I mean, you don't get, well, there's nothing going to be able to be done it, there. It, it, no, I don't like, what, what does she think is going to happen? That she's just going to be able to attack. Starfleet and get through that shield? I highly doubt it. And even if she did, there's how many friggin' Federation ships inside and how many are probably being recalled? Like, yeah, it just, <clears throat> I don't know. But we'll find out tonight. We'll find out, yeah. And then we'll have to wait till season four. Now, yeah. uh, still on the topic of Star Trek, however, um, Star Trek Picard is supposed to start filming, <clears throat> according oh, to good. rumors, in February for season two. Good. And uh, I was worried there that it wasn't going Whoopi to be. Whoopi Goldberg may be coming back as Guinan for part of it, which we had talked about. We before. talked about that before, yeah. So I yeah. don't know. I mean, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, probably they'll film it. We'll probably have to wait till God knows the end of the year before January again before we friggin' see it. So it'll have been like two years before we see more Picard, which is absolutely. Hey, at least we're going to get to see it. That's the main I, thing. If they actually do it. Well, That's, you just said there's. They're supposed to. Oh. That's the rumor that they're supposed oh, to. Oh, okay. So it hasn't been officially. Nobody, not, not that okay. I'm aware of. I don't think it's been officially confirmed. So, no, see, I was thinking it, you were saying it was, so yeah. I was all anyway. pumped. Oh, well. I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping it, I, I liked the first season. I know there's a lot of people out there that didn't and saying, well, it did this and it did that and it broke canon here and it broke, it uh, didn't. And I'm like, bullshit. baloney. All these people that dig these things apart don't watch enough Star Trek, in my opinion, to actually truly get where some of these references are coming from and where they're like. Well, I don't get them don't. all. I mean, you know, I'm not, I mean, I'm a fan, obviously you know that, but I'm yeah. not a fan like you are that I, you know, like I don't watch it like I take 
the country music and the, no, the, no, the thing that but way. There are people but I'm that are, a fan. But there are people online that are complaining, and they, they, they claim to dude, be. Dude, there's claim people to be out these, there to complain no, about no, everything. That's all they're there for. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, so anyway, yeah, like, just, they, they complain, they complain, they complain, but I don't think they actually really watch everything, and it's just ridiculous. It's stupid. You know? It's the same people who bitch about Star Wars, or they bitch about Marvel, or they bitch about whatever, and it's like, you guys aren't actually watching all the content and understanding everything and how it's connecting to other things, or the fact that, you know, novels are not canon. Star Trek has always been... The only thing that's actually canon in Star Trek is what is seen on screen. Period. That's it. Nothing else in Star Trek is canon. It doesn't matter what novel you think you've read or what comic book you think you've read or whatever. Nothing is canon unless it's been filmed on screen and shown to everybody. That's all that's canon. That's it. And it's not like Star Wars where... Now they have novels and comic books that are canon because they've, they've integrated and Disney has decided to make that all one big whatever. Or it's not like Marvel where, you know, where the MCU has comic books sometimes that take place that fill in little gaps here and there between movies that are like, well, it's canon sort of and not but sort of and, you know, and that's how they look at it. But with Star Trek, it's always been flat out said. If it's not shown on screen, it's not canon. So if you read a novel... I have nothing to say about cannons. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Too explosive a topic for you. That's right. Wouldn't, want, not you everybody's... Go, wouldn't want you to go off. No. <laughs> but not everybody's up to my caliber anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, so it's it's like, I don't know why these people complain the way they do. It, it's silly, you know. Um, to be my caliber, it takes balls. That's right. Cannonballs. Cannonballs. That's right. See? <laughs> I... Uh, you know, I mean, nothing's perfect. No Star Trek series has ever been perfect, but, um, you no, know, I, I, ever will I, be, I but certainly think Discovery season two and three have been far it's better. It's entertainment. Yeah. And it's Bottom been line. far better than the first season was. And, you know, I liked the first season. Still better than some of this reality shit we got going on. Oh my God. Yeah. I like, mean, please. I don't know how people can complain about this when there's crap like that on TV. It's like, really? The Masked Dancer and what, what's this? The Bachelor, The Bachelorette. Oh, please, give like, me a break. Are you serious? That's like, not TV. That's, that's garbage. I'd rather watch Paint oh, Peel. Oh my, God. oh yeah. Really? I know. Like, I just, I'm like, really? Like, this is the crap that you think is, like, I'm sorry. I would much rather watch, I would rather watch. Why the chicks watch it? Yeah, they yeah, can have That's it. because most women like drama in their life. That's that's a fact. Women just like drama. It's not a male thing, that's for sure. That's why men don't sit and watch The Bachelor and The Bachelorette because they don't give a shit about it. No. Please. <clears throat> you know, but and I don't mean I don't mean all women when I say that. So if you're female and you're gonna get off in a yeah. tiffy, you know, whatever. Don't paint them all don't with get the your, same brush. Don't get your panties in a twist. Don't paint them all it's with the same all brush. Of yous. No. But some of you are smart enough to know that slave Leia is awesome. The rest of you's well, I can't help you there. No. Um, <laughs> so, but it's, no, it, I mean, it's true. It's like, there's, anyway. there's garbage like that on TV. And yeah, I would rather watch, I would rather watch the sequel trilogy from Star Wars before I ever sat down to watch anything that was reality TV. That's how bad reality TV is. Because if I'm going to watch something that's completely made up and bullshit fake, I'm at least going to enjoy some laser beams being blown around and some lightsabers being chopped yeah, up. At exactly. So. Like, that's a sorry. Like, I mean, because ne- if you think those reality shows are real, they're not. It's all staged. It's all fake. It's all this. It's all that. It's, it's entertainment. It's entertainment. But it's entertainment it's of a bone, whole other yeah. ilk. But Dramatic entertainment that yeah. is not even, like, good enough to be, like, what Dynasty or whatever was years and ago. And even those I didn't watch. No, but I mean, at least those you could understand as being entertaining drama shows no, because didn't. they told a story. No, they sorry. were, they were. As the stomach turns. And, and I'm not talking about. I'm talking I'm about, not soap talking about soap operas. I'm talking I'm about saying, Dynasty. Dynasty was a soap opera. No, you said Duck Dynasty. No, I didn't say <laughs> Duck, Duck Dynasty. Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> That's more that reality <laughs> crap. No, but you know what I mean? Like, but then at was, least. That was, a, that was a soap opera. It was just a. a a, a nighttime soap opera it was that a drama. knots landing it was a, and yeah they were night they were nighttime dramas it's the same thing it's a, it's it's a 
it's a, what is it? You know, um, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. You know, like, give me a break. Well, if you've ever seen a soap opera and then seen one of those, they don't have the same way of, like, soap operas, because, because, say, Kim watches General Hospital. Oh. Yeah, I My know. grandmother and, used to watch The Young and the Restless and, um, and all that. And that, ha- they have a certain, they have a certain mm. thing, like, 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 you know, when somebody walks into the room and everybody does that look or, you know, like, they all have that thing where they, and they jump from scene to scene to scene to scene really quick. Like it, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I, it's not my cup of tea. She enjoys it. That's great. The for edge her. of night. Remember but, that? <laughs> no, I don't. God, I was. But that's a uh, an ex-girlfriend used to watch Another World. Most of them aren't even on TV anymore. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. Wait, we shouldn't be talking about this because it's all off topic. But mm. anyway, the the. The simple fact is... We never is, go off topic. No, I know. The simple fact is, is I would much rather watch bad science fiction than reality TV. So, you know, I'd rather watch like something bad like, I don't know, The Time Machine, The Fifth Element, Blade Runner, The Third Terminator. What? The Apprentice. The Apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I'd rather listen to Donald Trump talk than watch some of these shows. And yeah, that'll I, show you exactly, where I'm at. Exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Donald Trump. I know, eh? Fuck. Back to my canon comment, but I won't get there. Anyway, go ahead. Anyway, yeah. <sighs> go on, continue. Oh, no, Before I, I just, say something, I just... you're going to have to cut out again. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I got to censor him. Like, it's unbelievable. Oh, you, um, you have no idea. <laughs> the things I say that he just says me, cut. Yep. <clears throat> that's good. Cut, chopped. Okay. Anyway. Um, any, so that's, you know, in a nutshell, that's what it is. We'll, I guess we'll have to wait Maybe till one day we'll get to show you the and, uncut and versions. And we'll get to see, we'll get to see what happens tonight. And hopefully it'll be, you know, what it is, right? You never I have know. no comment. I'm talking about <laughs> Star Trek, I'm nuts. Uh, you know, we'll see what tonight brings, how it ends. Where season, where it's going to lead us into season four. Who knows? Anyway. So um, that's that. Go ahead. Tell anyway, me about Transformers. Because I, I didn't see it. There it is. So, uh, yeah. So Transformers Earthrise. Um, like I said, I know he didn't watch hey, it. because good. How'd you do that? Yeah, I know. Pretty cool. Eh? You're pretty good at that. Wow. He, uh, he wasn't He's a fan. Magic, he wasn't a fan of Siege, which was the first chapter. So... The second chapter, Earthrise. That's a nice shot. Continues with. Where'd you get that? That's a nice picture. I swiped it off the internet. Where the hell did you? Oh, you thief! <laughs> <laughs> it uh, continues with uh, the Autobots, of course, um, getting captured by some bounty hunters and being taken to a Quintazon and going through a whole bunch of stuff there while they're trying to figure out how to basically continue to find the Allspark. Uh, Goes back on Cybertron <laughs> with Alita One and her rebels fighting against Megatron and Thanks, the Decepticons, and then of course the Decepticons head off to uh, chase after the Autobots. It's, I will say that this six episodes was better than the first six, but the same terrible quality with the voice acting was there. The plot holes are still numerous. Like, there's so many plot holes, you could drive Optimus Prime through them. Um, That's not saying much. It, the, like, the voice acting, it, again, is, is awful. Like, the voice acting is just bad. There's a couple of characters that aren't half bad. Like, like I said in the first one, the, the, the lady who does Alita 1, she's actually doing a pretty decent job with her character. But again, Soundwave sounds awful. Megatron sounds like crap. Optimus Prime doesn't sound like Optimus Prime. Not even, I get that it's not even Peter Cullen doing the voice, but it's not even like they're getting the personality of Optimus Prime down. It's like, it's like they're, they're just completely doing something that's, it's, when you look at it and you watch it and you think, man, that's not what Optimus Prime would do. That's not who Optimus Prime is. It's like, you know, like, and the, the They're plot, taking it on a whole other. Yeah. And oh, like okay. the plot holes are are crazy like you know they show up to the space the autobots show up to the space bridge that they're gonna they're gonna try to go through and when they get there there's a space station stuck halfway between the space bridge so half of it is in this part of space and the other half is in the other half of wherever the space bridge ends and 
the Ark tells them that, of course, there's no life signs aboard, so they go aboard to blow this, surgically blow the space station in half so they can break it apart so that they can fly through. And they get on there, and what do they end up fighting? They end up fighting Scorponok, and which is ridiculous that it's like, oh, well, it didn't detect any life forms, but yet all of a sudden there's this ginormous Titan-sized Decepticon running around. Like, the, and then the, 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 the thing with the, the part well, that's the on point, the writers oh my then. god oh yeah like the writing is bad the 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 writing is bad the the like and, and it's called now there's I'm no sorry. redeeming qualities at all it was better than the first six i will say it was better but it's still not is that like, the one i saw yeah oh that was and, and and see especially after you showed me the other thing oh uh, yeah transformers prime oh yeah, my god i mean i'm not even a fan and i was like uh, wow i know yeah. difference like night and, and day what, what really gets me about it and what really bugs me is it's that it's called transformers they have a robot mode and they have a vehicle mode and you should see them go between them you don't the only one you see transform, I think, in all six episodes that you actually see transform, I think, is Jetfire. In six episodes, I don't think you see another one of them transform. You hear Scorponok transform from Scorpion mode to robot mode, but you don't see it. They don't show it. The It's, it's just, I'm like, it's called Transformers. You know, the Autobots and Decepticons are... Very adept at fighting in both modes. I mean, there are times where you will see, you know, an Autobot transform into vehicle mode because it's he's more maneuverable and able to dodge blasts because he can move quicker and faster and, you know, spin around and, you know, squeal his tires and whatever. Or they'll, you know, I mean, there's been numerous times where Optimus Prime would transform into a truck and then ram into somebody or barrel over them as a truck like but there's none of that it's it's just like it's just like their vehicle modes don't even exist it's like they're just a bunch of like they could have been a bunch of people and it would be it's like okay really like me doesn't sound impressive like you, you know i'm sorry but the like they need to have seriously i, I hope to god that i know the next the next one is going to be kingdom and and I'm not overtly impressed so far with what we're probably going to get there, but because it'll probably be more of the same crap. But I hope that whatever comes down the line further, when Hasbro decides to hire a company to make another Transformer series, put real money behind it. Real money. Well, how old is Peter Cullen now? Uh, in his 70s. Mm, he could still do it. You know. Um, <clears throat> I mean, this is this is a show where... They hired non-union voice actors. Oh, so it comes down to this To again. cut money. Yeah. They used the same character models over and over and over for numerous different characters. They rarely show them transform. Yeah, okay. It, it's like it, it's like constant. It's like, and everything is dark. It's transformers on a budget. Yeah, and it's, I'm sorry, but like, okay. they need to get back to doing something like they did with Transformers Prime, where... There's lots of action. The voice acting is good because you're hiring people who do it professionally all the time. And you're, you know, you're, you're putting the money that's needed into the animation. And even Transformers Prime cut corners. I mean, don't get me wrong. When did Cullen start doing it? In 84. 84, okay. I mean, like, here's, <clears throat> here's a show. Like, when you, even when you look at Transformers Prime, they, they cut a lot of corners. They didn't show a whole lot of humans. Um, even though they, you'd see them in cities and towns and whatever, they, they didn't really show a whole lot of humans. So, I mean, you know, they cut corners, but they certainly didn't cut any when it came to the Transformers to when it came to them transforming, when it came to them moving and fighting and whatever. How did you like the movies? The live action ones? Yeah. I don't like the live action movies. Okay. They're I was just, just curious because I never, I meant to ask you again, that last they're, time they're, we talked they're, about it. they're terribly written. Don't get me wrong. Um... Visually, they're impressive, but like, let's be honest. Anybody can do, anybody can do what Michael Bay does, because there's millions of directors out there that do stuff just like him. Where there's lots of fancy explosions and pretty effects and whatever. Yeah, big deal. But if the story's not there, if the characters aren't developed, there's no point. Yeah, you know, um, <clears throat> the first three minutes of the Bumblebee movie is what we should have gotten from the very beginning. And it's what we should have gotten through all the movies. 
And uh, you've never seen that, have you? No, never saw it. I'll show you after we're done. That, well, I'll show you th- after we're done filming. I'll show you the first three minutes of the Bumblebee movie, and you can see what I'm talking about. And it, but it's just. <clears throat> That's I don't what know you if want? you guys if you guys watched Earthrise. Did you think it was better than Siege? I know I did think it was better than Siege a bit, but not enough to make me go. This is this is awesome. Like it was better. Yeah, I sat and watched it all in one go, and I was like, meh, meh. I'm like, yeah, they. I would have thought the second part would have gotten better. It's called Earthrise. You don't even see them get to Earth to the very very last two minutes of the sixth episode. And you don't even see them land on Earth. You just see them get to it. So what do like, you give it on 10? The 10? As crappy as I gave the last one. Probably a four. Oof. It's terrible. Okay, yeah. It's just, it's not good. I watch it because it's Transformers. You know, it's like Star Trek. I watch everything that's Star Trek because it's Star Trek. I watch everything that's Star Wars because it's Star Wars. You know, I watch... Everything that's Marvel because it's Marvel. I watch these things because they are what I'm they are. hoping they are what they are, and I'm hoping that some of them are going to be good. And I know not everything can be good. I get that. There's always going to be bad in everything. But, I mean, man, they really should just get to, like, I don't know. I, I, I just, I don't know what else to say about it. There's so many people that have torn it apart online. You can look at their reviews, the same thing. It's just... I'm disappointed with it. So anyway, that said, there um, it is. That's what it is. If you guys think differently, comment below. Um, and we will see you guys next week for our season finale. And we'll talk about the season finale of Star Trek discovery season three. And we'll end off our season. And, uh, then after that, we will be back with season three. So we'll catch you guys next week for another episode. Let's talk with us all right here on superlative radio. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Take care. See you later.